British shorthair cats are healthy and generally not susceptible to any serious illnesses, they may suffer from a food allergy if you are still mindful of certain foods and drinks, such as milk. Please do not feed your British shorthair kitten milk as a 12 week old kitten does not have the necessary enzymes in its system that break down the milk. In general, you should keep your British shorthair cat away from dairy foods and also do not give milk to your British Shorthair cat to drink. This is assuming that once you have your British Shorthair kitten, it is already weaned off of the mother's milk, as they can no longer effectively digest lactose, which is the sugar found in milk. They may vomit or develop an upset stomach if they consume milk or dairy products. You must avoid foods that are rich in carbohydrates and starch, including grains, these can cause severe digestive tract problems in this breed. What many foods contain are grains. Wheat, barley, rice and other grains are routinely added to cat foods as a cheap way to bulk up the product while saving money. But grains have no business in anywhere in your cat's diet. You should also avoid beef and fish altogether if possible. Fish has a high mercury content whilst beef is known to stimulate allergic reactions in British shorthair cats. Therefore, if you want to save your shorthair from allergies, do not feed them fish and beef where possible. It would be best if you never gave your British shorthair cat onions, chives, leeks, garlic or any onion family member to eat. Unripe fruits should be avoided at all costs. This includes the seeds, skins and pith. They should all be carefully removed before any fruit is given to your cat. However, if possible, don't feed any fruit to your cat if you can avoid it. Avoid giving citrus fruits especially. They are not toxic per se, but the oils from the skin can be irritating to your pet. Apples and some soft fruits, such as cherries, apricots and peaches to name a few, contain seeds or pits which have dangerous levels of cyanide compounds. These are not only dangerous to cats, but also to humans, so please avoid eating these. It's also worth noting that if you own a dog, try to keep your short hair away from the dog's bowl and let them finish eating so there's no leftover food for the cat to steal. Some cats are obsessed with dog food. It is not suitable for short hair cats to eat dog food as this is not formulated to suit a cat's dietary needs. In particular, dog food contains high levels of grains, which are also bad for cats. Other things to watch out for are things like cheese. Cheese doesn't contain anything that a cat needs, and the additional fat definitely isn't healthy for them. In general, people foods as such should be kept away from your British short hair. This means do not feed any leftover food to your cat or consider giving them a morsel of food as you're preparing dinner. The meat products we eat are often loaded with salt or other flavourings that cats shouldn't consume. Like the onions or garlic mentioned above, even if the food isn't unhealthy as such, it's still a bad idea to let your British short hair snack from your plate. This breed especially doesn't need the additional calories. If your British short hair cat doesn't eat for the whole day, or is picky about its food for most of the day, you should consider taking your cat to the vet since this could translate to various health problems. As a side note, it would be helpful if you kept an eye on your British short hair kitten. It may be stealing food from the bin. Kittens sometimes do this as a way to get extra food. You should monitor what your cat eats and make sure you keep a diary if you're concerned about what they are eating and how it's affecting their well-being. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. We have plenty of videos linked in the description and on our playlist on our channel for different videos about British shorthair cats, about the breed and about things you should watch out for including helpful tips about keeping them fit and healthy. If you have any suggestions for future videos please leave them in the comments down below.